Good afternoon. Um, today I'm going to try to throw together a quick recipe for dinner before I get to church. I have to get to choir practice and church services tonight. Um, on Sundays I try not to do much around here. It's a day of rest, right? Um, but it is also my day of reset before the work week starts and homeschooling starts and all the fun things that entail with our busy weeks. <laughs> so. Sunday is like my day to get everything prepared and ready so that I don't feel so overwhelmed on Monday morning and every other morning of the week. Don't get me wrong, by the end of the week I'm falling apart, <laughs> but so we're going to throw together an easy meal. Um, if you watched me yesterday, you saw that I picked up a rotisserie chicken on my grocery haul, so we're going to use that for a meal tonight. My family and I have been trying to eat healthy since August. Um, actually closer to September um, and we've been on that bandwagon before but this time we're all as a family doing it and it makes it easier we do have our few things each of us that we um, still um, indulge in my husband's a sweet tea which that's one thing I'm making right now too um, but we're kind of doing a um, we're cutting carbs back not keto but like a Mediterranean ketogenic type diet um there it will be one thing in this recipe today though that is not very friendly to that and that's your tortillas i'm also trying to only use what i have in my house unless i necessarily have to get something from the grocery and tonight we're doing buffalo chicken tacos you could definitely get the carb friendly um shells or you could eat this on a salad and not have any shell at all but um let me show you the items that we're going to use today. Okay, so our main item being rotisserie chicken. I pulled it off and shredded it last night, and my 19-year-old son in the middle of the night got up and ate half the bag. can't really tell by the way I'm holding it, but he ate half of the bag. That is not enough for our family. So, I have pulled out two cans of chicken, and we are going to try to mix that in with the real chicken, and hopefully nobody will notice. Um, and then I already have some lettuce that has been in our refrigerator and leaves, some romaine lettuce, and I'm going to shred it. Um, so I'm going to cut it up and shred it. And then we're going to have some cilantro, some thinly sliced celery, and also some thinly sliced carrots. Um, this is the other item that we'll have. You could use your choice of buffalo sauce. Um, the only thing that I'm not using that was mentioned on the recipe and I've kind of thrown actually a few a couple of things extra in was if you like blue cheese you can use blue cheese and mayonnaise and mix together and make a sauce to put on it we don't like blue cheese okay I'm hoping you're gonna get a view of everything you see my tea over here <laughs> brewing um, but I'm gonna put my chicken in here so I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil um, the chickens already been cooked because it was rotisserie chicken so all we're really doing is eating it up um so i'm just going to pour it in there and then i am also going to take the cans of the cooked chicken i have two cans that i'm going to use this is something i had in my cabinet i don't use this kind of chicken a lot unless i make buffalo chicken dip um but we're going to do that and i'm going to go ahead and turn that on and then the only thing you have to add to that pan is three-fourths a cup of whatever preferred buffalo sauce you want. I'm going to use a little bit more than three-fourths of a cup. I mean, you want it to be saucy, but you don't want it to be so saucy that it's going to make your tortilla soggy. So we're going to go, that was, you can't tell, but it's about three-quarters of a jar that I used. And if I show you. We have it in there and I'm going to stir it together and get started on the vegetable. Okay, I'm trying to keep this bag out of the way here, but this is just the bag that I throw any of my trash in. Like I put my chicken cans in there and the baggie that had the shredded chicken in it. It's just so much easier for me than having to go back and forth to the trash can. Um, I am going to stir our chicken a little bit and I'll show you in a minute what that's looking like once it gets heated and all mixed together. Um, and I've already washed our celery and we have some cilantro right here. We're going to chop up and I'm also going to chop up some lettuce leaves. So, if you're wondering why I'm using 
using paper towels is because I have not found, I don't have much counter space and I have not found um, a cutting board. I have a huge, really big cutting, cutting board, but I just, it takes up so much space when I use it on here. So I'm probably a big waster of paper towels, but that's what we're going with right now. So with the cilantro, I'm just going to ball it up kind of in a ball and just slice and then if you want to bring it back together again and go roughly go through it again that's fine I like some thicker pieces of cilantro on mine and I just have a little to-go container right here that I'm gonna throw my cilantro in one container by itself and then I'm gonna put my uh, carrots and celery on this side so your celery cut this in off right here and put it in our trash bag the celery you're just going to want to slice really thin. I've learned with all of these recipes that I've cooked over the past few weeks that as many veggies as you can add to your meal is the best. And to get those veggies in, I mean, my, my kids are older, but so I don't have to really hide them. They're going to see them, but they have already started eating more veggies than they were before because I added in to whatever we're eating. So this recipe did not call for celery but I think the crisp uh, refreshing taste of celery is going to go great on these and then I'm going to do the same thing with some carrots I don't have full carrots I've had a, a big bag of just the baby carrots and so I'm just going to take those and slice them in some small slices there again, I just have them bunched up. I have about four or five that I'm cutting at the same time. I do have a little food chopper thing, but the hassle of getting that thing out and then having to clean it is a pain to me, so I'd rather just do this. This will be all that we have for our meal. We're not going to add any side to it. We'll just do the tacos. Um, I'm not going to get a chance to like plate it up but maybe I should do that while we're on here all right so now I'm gonna just throw the carrots in here with our celery and cilantro and again throw my trash away because I don't like leaving that on the gun then we have a container that has all three of our toppings to go on top and the only other thing we have to put is our lettuce just going to pull all of the lettuce out and then we'll put it back in that same container. I'm going to roughly chop it. Space. I'm going to throw it in there as I'm chopping. lettuce that I'm just going to close back up. And now all of our toppings are done. We got our chicken cooking away. I'm just kind of breaking apart any of the bigger pieces. And I am not going to add any more um, buffalo sauce to ours. Uh, you could if you wanted to, but I probably added a cup and they called for three-fourths of a cup but everything is covered and this meal has literally taken me all of five minutes um, now if you had to shred the chicken today then it would have taken a little longer but because I did that the night before um, it didn't take long and you could totally do this without using rotisserie chicken you could just use the canned chicken like I did okay so if we're gonna plate it up we'll put some buffalo chicken on there and then we're going to add just a little bit of lettuce, some carrots, some celery, and some cilantro. 
Now, I did not add cheese jars, but if you wanted to add blue cheese or sour cream or black beans or whatever else you wanted to, you could. But here's the finished product. Buffalo chicken tacos.